If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Quotes, sales orders, proposals, and the sales invoicing form are all forms used in the process of billing customers and managing your accounts receivable. Each form has a unique purpose in the sales process. This lesson discusses the function of each form within the larger sales process. Quotes let you create pricing for a prospective customer job. To create a quote in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Quotes, Sales Orders, Proposals, Quotes from the menu bar. Since the customer hasn't agreed to purchase anything, they only receive a quote. Quotes do not affect the general ledger. However, you can easily convert quotes a customer accepts into proposals, sales orders, or sales invoices later. You can create a sales order when a customer agrees to buy goods or services that aren't shipped immediately. To create a sales order in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Quotes, Sales Orders, Proposals, Sales Orders from the menu bar. The Sales Orders window lets you ship partial orders and track back orders. This window lets you ship items from inventory as they become available. Proposals, which are only available in Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, are like quotes. To create a proposal in Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, select Tasks, Quotes, Sales Orders, Proposals, Proposals from the menu bar. If the customer accepts the proposal, you can mark the proposal as accepted and then invoice items from the proposal through the sales invoicing form. You can also update the status of proposals as they are completed. In addition, you can convert quotes into proposals if desired. You use the sales invoicing form to create customer invoices. To create an invoice in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Sales Invoicing from the menu bar to open the sales invoicing form. You can enter customer sales into this form when a customer makes a purchase. You can also use it to create invoices and ship items you previously entered within sales orders or proposals. Unlike quotes, sales orders, or proposals, the amounts you enter within the sales invoicing form affect the account's receivable balance. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.